Hey, this is Paul with Wondershare Doctor Phone, and today we're going over some of the best ways that you can bypass an iPhone 13's lock. And many of the methods that we'll be sharing do work for older as well as newer iPhones. However, for demonstration purposes, we are using an iPhone 13. And before we get into it, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with our latest releases. Without a doubt, iPhones are definitely considered a very premium device, and with that comes a very premium price tag. Compared to their Android counterparts, they are typically more expensive, but some of that cost is justified with some of its extra security features that you find on most of its phones. And with iOS's built-in security features, you can help further protect your phone from unwanted users in case it ever gets lost or stolen. And using iPhone's activation lock, Apple helps prevent your data from being stolen in case your device is ever in the wrong hands. And by using activation lock, your iPhone will only be accessible if you have the correct Apple user ID and password. As such, this can be a very effective way to protect your iPhone. But let's say you accidentally locked your iPhone and you can no longer access it. What can you do? So let's go over some of the best ways that we can bypass the activation lock on our iPhones. For our first method, we'll be using our professional tool called Dr. Phone Screen Unlock, which is available for iOS. And best of all, our tool is known for its simplicity and easy to follow guides for unlocking your iPhone. Within our tool, there's the option for bypassing multiple types of passwords. Dr. Phone Screen Unlock will easily bypass your activation lock on your iPhone. And so here are the steps to use Dr. Phone Screen Unlock. First, download and install the latest version of Dr. Phone on your computer. After opening Dr. Phone, click Screen Unlock. You'll now see several options. Click Bypass Activation Lock to remove the activation lock from your iPhone 13 or other iPhone device. Next, you'll have to determine if you have a GSM or CDMD iPhone. If you have a GSM device, the process will be much more straightforward. On the other hand, if you have a CDMD device, there are a number of restrictions that you should be aware of. This includes no longer being able to use your phone's call service as well as cellular data after unlocking the device. That said, you'll still be able to use your Apple ID within the App Store and for other features on your iPhone. For GSM devices, there are no downsides to using this process as all of your iOS services will continue to work as normal. Next, to continue with this process, you will need to jailbreak your iPhone. If you are unfamiliar or new to jailbreaking, there is a video down below that you can follow along with to help you out. Before proceeding, please understand the pros and cons associated with jailbreaking. It is generally considered a safe process, but you should understand what it will do to your device. Once your device is jailbroken, the process will continue and the activation lock will begin to be removed. And once the process is completed, you'll see a notification. Click Done to finish the process. Next, we'll show you how you can use your Apple ID and password to bypass the activation lock on your iPhone. Here's how we can do this. After turning on your iPhone, you will soon see the activation lock screen. This is where we can add our Apple ID and password to unlock the device. If you see the option of Unlock with Password, select it and enter your password for your iPhone. Your iPhone will now be unlocked and you can continue with the setup process. If on the other hand you don't see this option, there are ways to bypass this activation lock using your computer. This can easily be done using the iCloud website. So let's go over how we can use the iCloud website to bypass the activation lock. First, head to iCloud.com on your computer's browser. You will sign in with your Apple ID and password associated with your iPhone. Once logged in, Click Find My iPhone. Once that opens, you'll see a tab for all devices. From the list of devices, select your iPhone and click the option Erase iPhone. You will then be asked to confirm this process and then click Remove from Account. With your old account removed from the iPhone, you'll now be able to set up your iPhone as a new device. Surprisingly, Microsoft also offers its own way for bypassing the activation lock for an iPhone. Using Microsoft Intune, IT administrators and controllers are able to manage devices and perform such actions, such as helping you reset a password on a device. To follow along with these steps, we'll be using Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Once signed in, proceed to the Devices option within the Intune console. Locate the All Devices option. Once we select our iPhone, proceed to the Hardware option. You'll see an Activation Lock Bypass code under Conditional Access. Under our specified device, click Overview, and then click Wipe to reset the device completely. You'll be asked to enter your Apple ID and password. Leave the ID field as is, and then use the copied bypass code to the password field. 
The account will then be removed and now you've bypassed the activation lock on the iPhone. And so there you have it. In this video, we've gone over what activation lock is on an iPhone and how you can easily bypass it with a number of effective methods. So hopefully we've helped you answer how to bypass the activation lock with ease. Of course, if you liked this video and found it helpful, give us a thumbs up. You can also let us know in the comments which method you used or if you have any questions with the steps that we shared. Thanks again for subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell for the latest uploads. This has been Paul with Dr. Phone and until the next one, we'll catch you later.